Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm with I-94 RV, and uh, what we have here is a 1997 uh, Pace Aero Vision. So it's a 37-footer, and it's a two-slide model. Uh, really nice luxury motorhome, for, uh, you know, a little older luxury motorhome. Two super cool points about this motorhome. It's got Banks exhaust system on it, which is a real expensive, um, high quality exhaust system that cures a lot of the problems uh, that RVs have with their exhaust systems and also it's got a set of new tires uh, eight new tires so uh, that's just really some good stuff right there to have in a used motorhome um, other than that overall it's in good shape it's got a few glitches uh, you know like anything it might need a little tinkering but uh, let's walk around it and see how it looks <clears throat> Uh, one thing we did is we tested the leveling jack system and we couldn't get them to work so uh, we you know that's uh, just not working on the RV um, but the slides and the fridge and the furnace and the water heater uh, the air conditioners the water system all that stuff's been tested works nice and it really drives out nice too so we'll drive it in just a minute um, <clears throat> yeah so right here you got the bank sticker it's a great thing to have and then a nice set of new tires. So the awning also is a, uh, what they call a metal wrap awning, and um, it's in beautiful condition. So just uh, be lots of fun to sit out here and have your coffee. Uh, you got all kinds of storage on the Pace Arrow, pull out table and stuff, uh, it's pass through storage. And um, overall, the coach, you know, it shows a little bit of wear on some of this stuff, but this thing really looks pretty good. The, the decals, too, have a little bit of uh, checking on them. Uh, you know, when I go in the back and look underneath the coach, um, it's not rusty or anything. So, of course, the propane tank's a little rusty, but they always are. <clears throat> Uh, that's the water heater right there and of course you get this picture of a wolf completely free with this RV so that's a nice thing uh, Fleetwood's known as a, you know a pretty good manufacturer they're a good quality manufacturer and you can see stuff like all these compartments are made out of aluminum and they use stuff like a quality generator like an Onan versus uh, some of the other off-brands. <clears throat> also, the storage comes out with the slide in this coach, so uh, that's really a neat thing to have. If you look in here, too, at the framing, um, it just looks nice and clean. The coach just uh, obviously has not been in any salt or it's not rusty. And uh, why don't you just back up a little bit so you can see the whole side, because you can see it's still got a lot of shine to it. And um, it's not delaminated or there's no signs of water damage on the exterior. Okay, let's walk on the inside. Again, just a good condition coach. The seats are in good shape. Um, this RV has uh, 51,000 miles on it, so mileage is not too high. And, uh, you know, it starts right up and runs good. So, looking at the layout, you've got a nice sofa that makes to a bed, and then a freestanding dinette. And then the kitchen is really nice and large. All kinds of storage, got a big oven with it, and there's a, a three burner range, and then this is also a convection oven. So basically, this is a microwave and an oven that bakes in one. And 
every RVer's dream is to have an ice maker in your RV. So there you go. Uh, the fridge is nice and clean. So it looks good. And in the back here, let's just do bedroom first. What? The stain on the floor? Oh, there's a little stain on the floor though. Oh yeah, it's got a washer dryer. So it's a combo unit. And just a little more storage in there. And the stain on the floor, as mentioning, is more, I would think, from sun damage. It's just from sun fade. And uh, the bathroom sinks out here. And oh, and let's just do the bedroom first. I got a real nice size, good uh, queen bed, and a, uh, a nice big closet in the back. And you got some big drawer storage down here. So can't have too much storage. And the bathroom is nice and clean. And it's got this uh, extra little mirror there, which you probably need. Uh, another thing is when I'm in the coach, uh, I just notice it doesn't have any smells or uh, it doesn't smell like mildew or pets or, or anything like that. So on these older RVs, you know, especially if you buy them on the internet, you can't tell if they smell. So it's nice to know if they don't. All right, let's go take it for a drive. Okay, uh, we're going to take the uh, Pacer out for a drive. Um, this is a 1997 and this has a Ford 460 V8 engine. Um, this is the last year of the 460 V8. Basically, it is, I mean, absolutely the best 460 that Ford ever put out. Um, I would think these last 460s were better built than the first V10s. Uh, more reliable, tight, powerful. We don't talk about gas mileage necessarily, but it's a good, powerful engine. It's actually tune port injected just like a Mustang engine. So. Uh, it's, it's a pretty cool setup. So here we go. All right, I'm going to give it full throttle and let's just see what it does. We're going up a hill too. There you go, that's 60 miles an hour. Drives real nice, real straight. Uh, the steering wheel a little bouncy, but uh, really the coach goes straight down the road. So uh, with those new tires, um, it, it really is smooth. Uh, the other thing I noticed too is that the brakes and the transmission all feel great on this coach. So I think whoever wins it is gonna love it.